What's up everyone, I am Daniel, this is DTV, and today a friendly spouse has allowed us to get a full tour of their home. Welcome to Graph On Post Housing. Let's go inside. This is a 1,518 square foot, two-story duplex home. It has four bedrooms, 2.5 bathrooms, and a single car garage. All right, I am a military spouse, and we arrived in Germany August of 2020. So we were offered two homes in the local area, and after receiving videos from our sponsor, from the military sponsor, we decided on this layout in this home. The other one was in Vilsic, off post. Um, yeah, so we chose this house because we loved being able to get into the local area very easily on bikes or by foot, and we loved just the location. On post living, it's, it's convenient, it's wonderful being close to American amenities, but also really close to the local village. Um, honestly, I think I love our community. I love our neighborhood. I like the open floor plan of the kitchen and the dining. It's really good for a family. Playgrounds are everywhere. Um, I love the backyard. It's big for the kids. It's safe. I mean, these homes are relatively small as far as like the square footage. So that obviously we would wish for a bigger home with our family size, but you're not gonna get everything you want in a home. So we had to just take what was important to us and run with it. But yeah, when I mean, we love the house, the, the rooms, the bedrooms do feel a little small, but other than that, we've made it home. And you make everywhere you live home. That's what matters. Like we live in this part of the home, like the open kitchen and the dining, we're pretty much here all day. Like that's the, the heart of the home right there. It's nice. And then open dining and kitchen. We love having the bar here, the counter. It's awesome for breakfasts and lunches. The crew, the kids. No basement, it does have an attic. Laundry's downstairs as well. Oh, and I was gonna show you this space because again, it's helpful with a small home. It's like a, we use it as storage, but also overflow pantry. And then this space is different in every home that I've been in on the street. People do something different with it because um, some have a playroom, some have, we have it set up as a little home office when the kids were virtual learning and then kind of opens up right into the living space. This is just one of the bedrooms, the kid bedrooms. If you want to show, these are built in and come with the home. Well, this one is awesome because it's like where it's where we store toys. Shelves are great. And then these two actually have the hanging part. This is the second bedroom. And then same sort of thing. One's got shelves. And then this one just has the hanging. And then this is just a hall storage closet. We turn it into a hall playroom just for the kids. Yeah, we needed a spot for them. This is the guest bath. Um, pretty self-sufficient, just one shower. And then this is the third guest bedroom, kids room. Same sort of thing, one with shelves and then um, two that hang. It works, it works. And then this is the master bedroom. <laughs> so again, pretty tight. Um, we had to actually put our dresser downstairs because we didn't have room for this, but it does have um, three closets with hanging and then one with shelves. And this is the master bath and this one does have the tub. So if you have itty bitties, you're gonna be washing your babies in here. Big thanks to the family that allowed me to walk through their home today. Oh, hey. All right. Let's do that again. You're a little slow. You're a little slow. It's like frosting. Make sure to subscribe for more PCS prep content and check the link in the description for additional housing information. You are in it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my good! I didn't know that was on the menu. What do I do? I raise four kids. Everything. One with shelves. This is atrocious. Please don't show this. I need a code word or a signal. We can turn that off now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot it was on. Right? I did. 
Oh, I don't even know the questions. Like, should I look at them? 